so hello students in this lecture i'll explain inorganic chemistry and in organic chemistry i am taking the topic molecular orbital theory of h2 plus molecule and this is paper 302 and this topic comes under the syllabus of gujarat university so before starting formation of h2 molecule or h2 molecular ion with the help of molecular orbital theory what one thing we have to understand in the formation of h2 plus which atoms or ions are taking part so here in the formation of h2 plus molecule h atom and h plus ion is taking part and they are overlapping and forming this h2 plus molecule the energy of one molecular orbital see according to molecular orbital theory as i have already explained in my previous video an energy of bonding molecular orbital theory will be uh, bonding molecular orbital will be less than the respective atomic orbital so first you have to understand ki how many bonding molecular orbitals or how many anti bonding molecular orbitals will form so by the combination of two atomic orbitals two molecular orbitals will form and if two so what one thing we have to understand so number of atomic orbitals and number of molecular orbitals will be same according to molecular orbital theory so when two atomic orbitals are taking part in case of h2 plus one atomic orbital is the atomic orbital of hydrogen and another atomic orbital is the atomic orbital of h plus ion so if they are overlapping they are forming two molecular orbitals one is of lower energy than respective atomic orbitals so the atomic orbital which is showing lower energy than the atomic orbital of hydrogen and hydrogen ion is called bonding molecular orbital and other molecular orbital will form that is called anti bonding molecular orbital and the energy of this anti bonding molecular orbital will be more than the energy of h orbital and h plus ion so first thing by the combination of h and h plus we will get two molecular orbital we, one is of lower energy than the respective atomic orbital and another will be of higher energy than the respective atomic orbital now we will see here the formation of h2 plus ion in terms of quantum mechanics so according to quantum mechanics as we know all the particles can act as wave also so now here we will consider this h plus and h atom as wave so we will take the wave function of h plus and h so here if we consider formation of bonding molecular orbital this is the condition when same sign overlap they form bonding molecular orbital and in case of bonding molecular orbital this common area is present between two atomic orbital and due to this stable molecular orbital is formed and the energy of this molecular orbital will be less so here you can see this is the wave function of h a and this is the wave function of h plus so in constructive this kind of overlapping is called constructive overlapping and constructive overlapping is the overlapping which over which shows the same plane and here we we can see here this is common area so by constructive overlapping of two wave functions we get bonding molecular orbitals and since the bonding molecular orbitals are stable so the energy should be less than the respective atomic orbitals so here i have shown psi wave function of molecular orbital or bonding molecular orbital and uh, the wave function of bonding molecular orbital is equal to psi a plus psi b plus so psi a means the wave function of h atom plus psi b plus a is showing here the wave function of h plus and by constructive overlapping bonding molecular orbital is formed and the energy of molecular orbital or bonding molecular orbital is less than the respective atomic orbital as i have already explained now we will see we will see psi anti bonding molecular orbital 
सो एंटी बॉन्डिंग मोलिकुलर ऑर्बिटल ऑर्बिटल्स आर फॉर्म बाय डिस्ट्रक्टिव ओवरलैपिंग सो इन डिस्ट्रक्टिव ओवरलैपिंग यू कैन सी हियर साई ए माइनस साई बी प्लस सो डिस्ट्रक्टिव ओवरलैपिंग हायर एनर्जी ऑफ एंटी बॉन्डिंग मोलिकुलर ऑर्बिटल दैन द रिस्पेक्टिव एटोमिक ऑर्बिटल्स एंड वी नो इफ द एनर्जी इज हायर दैन स्टेबिलिटी विल बी लेस सो बाय डिस्ट्रक्टिव ओवरलैपिंग एंटी बॉन्डिंग मोलिकुलर ऑर्बिटल विल फॉर्म एंड द एनर्जी ऑफ एंटी बॉन्डिंग मोलिकुलर ऑर्बिटल विल बी मोर एंड सिंस इट इज मोर द स्टेबिलिटी विल बी लेस नाउ हियर आई हैव शोन डिस्ट्रक्टिव ओवरलैपिंग सो वैन टू डिफरेंट साइंस ओवरलैप so opposite sign participate in overlapping but no overlapping will be there or overlapping does not occur here you can see this is the example of formation of anti bonding molecular orbital and now how anti bonding or molecular orbital we will explain in terms of wave function this is the wave function of ha and this is the wave function of h plus so ha and h plus when overlap and they are not in same plane so they are not sharing a common area and this overlapping is called destructive overlapping and in destructive overlapping you can understand the value of energy will be more and anti bonding molecular orbital will form this is the molecular orbital diagram energy level diagram of formation of h2 plus ion so this is energy level diagram on this axis i have taken energy and this axis is showing energy so how we will understand the concept of energy here you can see this is atomic orbital h and this is the atomic orbital of h plus ion so h means it is having one electron while h plus is not having any electron because h plus how h plus will form by losing one electron and since hydrogen is having only one electron so by losing one electron it forms h plus ion so now here it is having one and here zero and by the combination of these two atomic orbitals two molecular orbitals are formed so this is bonding molecular orbital and since this they are formed by sigma bond so we will write here sigma 1s and this is anti bonding molecular orbital so we have written here sigma star 1s so in sigma star 1s so wherever we will get the star sign it means we are talking about anti bonding molecular orbital so here you can see according to abbo principle first electron will enter into lower energy orbital so this is lower energy orbital since we have only one electron one electron will enter here and here you can see this is showing the energy level so the energy of this is less so this is energy level diagram of m uh, h2 plus molecule now if we write now if we write psi of bonding and psi of anti bonding so psi of bonding and psi of anti bonding i have already explained psi bonding means we are talking about constructive overlapping and psi anti bonding means we are talking about destructive overlapping so psi a plus psi b where psi a is the wave function of hydrogen atom and psi b is the wave function of h plus ion so when addition is there constructive overlapping will be there and what we can say the compound and the molecular orbital form is bonding molecular orbital and in case of destructive overlapping what we have to remember psi a minus psi b now third thing that we have to understand is bond order what will be the bond order which kind of bond will form between h2 and h plus so here for the formation for the calculation of bond order one formula we have to remember so this is the formula number of electrons in bonding molecular orbital minus number of electrons in anti bonding molecular orbital divided by 2 and as we know number of electrons in bonding molecular orbital of h2 plus is 1 so if number of electron 
present in bonding molecular orbital is 1 we will write here 1 and number of anti bonding molecular uh, electron in anti bonding molecular orbital as we have seen that that is 0 so 1 minus 0 upon 2 so bond order is here 1 by 2 which, which is basically not possible and if we are getting this kind of bond order or bond order in fraction so what one thing we can say the compound will be less stable or stability will be very much less so here you can see h2 plus molecule has half bond order so its stability is less and after completing the stability and bond order one more thing we have to understand its magnetic behavior so how we will find the magnetic behavior and for the determination of magnetic behavior of any compound by molecular orbital theory one thing we have to remember that is if any unpaired electron present in bonding or anti-bonding molecular orbital then nature of compound will be paramagnetic in nature so in case of h2 plus molecule when we see the molecular orbital diagram of h2 plus molecule one electron is present in its bonding molecular orbital so if one electron is present and that one electron is unpaired electron so the nature of this h2 plus molecule will be paramagnetic so in short we can understand first formation of H2 plus, how H2 plus will form by the combination of H and H plus. And when H and H plus combines, we will get two molecular orbitals, one is bonding, another is anti bonding. And in terms of wave function, also we can explain this formation of bonding and anti bonding molecular orbital by using the ter terms constructive and destructive overlapping. So this is all about the formation of H2 plus molecule with the help of molecular orbital theory. These are the references. Thank you.